In continuing coverage, we're digging deeper tonight into the initial committee investigation that revealed the deletion of two decades of state emails containing critical records for the public. You may recall that last night we showed you the heated conversation between Senator Tracy Potter and Attorney General Drew Wrigley over the deleted state email accounts of former Attorney General Wayne Stengem and former Deputy AG Troy Seibel. Tonight, Josh Minney is breaking down the issues for you and working to get some answers. I've been asked many, many times, what's going on in Bismarck? Senate Minority Leader Joan Heckman is calling for an audit into a 1.8 million cost overrun on a building leased by the Attorney General's office under late Wayne Stengem. Is the AG's office currently doing an investigation into the leasing and overrun of the new building in South Bismarck? It's doubtful, Heckman says, because if there was an active investigation going on, the AG's office would not be commenting on it, but they are. Heckman says there should be a full performance audit on the AG's office by State Auditor Josh Gallion. There seems to be a lack of authority to even lease this building let alone pay for the improvements to a building the state does not even own. Documents presented to the government administration by legislative council indicate that Representative Jason Doctor is associated with the leased facility. It's a conflict of interest concern, legislators owning property leased by the state. Representative Rick Becker sits on the government administration committee. That's a situation where we need transparency, sunshine as they say, and the voters of North Dakota need to know that there is not a conflict of interest, there's not a perverse incentive to vote for expanding budgets if it actually is going to line the pockets of the legislators voting on those budgets. The AG's office had a significant overrun on the lease space, raising questions of the propriety of the enhancements to the building. The benefits of the overrun will only enhance the value of that building for the owners, which is not the state. At the end of the day, this situation highlights that there isn't transparency as to whether the state is leasing buildings owned by legislators. Now, Senators Heckman and Tracy Potter are asking the Attorney General's office to seek out all emails relating to the lease and enhancement to the property. For KX News, I'm Josh Many. Josh Many joins us live in studio now. Josh, we understand lawmakers are now calling for an independent investigation. That's right, Nicholas and Brooke. Lawmakers from both parties are calling for an independent investigation of the Attorney General's office in regard to the deleted emails. Senate Majority Leader Rich Warner told KX in a statement, even if there has been no illegal activity, people will believe there has been some type of cover-up of illegal business if only an internal investigation is done. Warner says an independent investigation needs to be done for the integrity of the state government and for the people of North Dakota. He said, quote, the people of the state deserve to know what and why it happened and our legislators need to know in order to do business of the state and legislate with facts. We need to know that due diligence was done to find out if someone committed a crime. It certainly sounds like it on its face, but we need to know. And if not, how, when it seems apparent to anyone who reads the law that a crime was committed, how is it, Attorney General, that you're saying a crime was not committed? Nicholas Brook, back to you. Thank you, Josh. And of course, we will keep you at home updated as this story develops. Now